So today I wanted to talk to you about one of the most powerful spiritual laws you can be working with to manifest what it is you truly desire in your life and your business. So today I wanted to talk to you about one of the most powerful spiritual laws you can be working with to manifest what it is you truly desire in your life and your business. And this is the spiritual law of faith. And when you think about what faith is, faith is belief in something that is unseen, right? It's not necessarily a blind faith, but it's a faith in knowing. It's a faith in your knowing. It's a faith with such a powerful energetic force behind it, such a high frequency that it has the power to create miracles and magic in your life like that. But the thing I really wanted to address with you today regarding the spiritual law of faith is that faith is not required unless it looks as if it is not going to manifest for you. So think about this for a second. If everything looks like a sure thing, when would faith really be required? If everything was a sure thing, if everything was certain, if everything was guaranteed, then you wouldn't need to rely on faith or tap into that inner knowingness. It's during the times when everything looks as if nothing is working. It's when things look impossible it's when your analytical mind or your logical reasoning tell you no way. It's when the intellect, the intellectual mind, will come up with all the reasons why it is not possible. This is when the spiritual law of faith is required. This is when you're going to be able to shift energetically into a much higher frequency when things look impossible or that they like they're never going to happen. And I've had several coming to Jesus moments like this with my business. Um, and especially my spiritual business, I really didn't have these experiences growing any of my other businesses. But when I was growing my spiritual business, um, which is why I always say it's such a spiritual ascension tool, your spiritual business, it requires that you really are facing so many of your limited belief systems and your doubts and your fears. Um, and it's not like you don't face those every single day. You are facing those every single day in any business and throughout life in general. But it isn't until like you really, you know, it, it the rubber doesn't hit the road until you really are actively pursuing something that gets you way out of your comfort comfort zone beyond what it is that you thought was possible for yourself and inching you towards or catapulting you towards your deepest soul desires and dreams that are coming from within. It isn't until you really set on that path that everything that blocks that path is going to be brought up for um, reframing, releasing, clearing, purging, and, you know, really releasing all of the resistance on your path. And so oftentimes when you set on this journey, one of the first things that you can experience is so much of the resistance so much of the sabotage, so much of the fear, so much of the imposter syndrome, so much of the self-doubt and the worry and the anxiety and the and it just spirals from there. Because you are inching your way and or catapulting your way towards what it is you truly truly desire. And this is why from in my own experience it was so much easier to grow any other business 
my real estate business, my brick and mortar business, my other online business. It was so much easier to just make decisions that move the needle, to come out at a price right out the gate that honored me, to have no question about you know my services and, and how I was charging. Um, I mean, it, it, it's just right out the gate, I owned what it was that I was doing within my business. And I made smart business decisions. Whereas when growing a spirit, growing, stepping onto this spiritual ascension journey, which if you're watching this, you have stepped onto the awakened path, right? And now you're being called on a soul level to create your dream business, your dream life, something that really allows you to be in service to the highest and greatest good. Um, and at the same time, really, you know, ascend on your own journey as a co-creator. And then that whole process even ascends even further and it just never stops expanding. You never stop growing. And it's always up leveling you because you're no longer complacent doing things that are satisfying maybe or things that you're masterful at or things that you're good at or things that maybe society said you were good at and things like that now you're just following your dreams now you're just following your desires and it requires in order for you to be an energetic frequency match to that to be an energetic frequency match to your inner being, right? Your inner guidance system, the one that knows, the one that that loves and knows and has divine wisdom and knowledge and the one that is connected to source at all times, the one that is the 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 channel and the bridge for source energy to pour through you um, so that you can create in the physical 3D as an extension of source. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, obviously, if you're on this journey, an amazing process. And also, if you're on this journey, you recognize that it's, it hasn't necessarily always been the most easy. And I'm not projecting that. I'm just saying if you resonate with that. You know, so back to my story, I've had very, you know, so many coming to Jesus moments where I really thought like things just were not working. And it just seemed so heavy and so difficult. Like I was just like, you know, like walking through mud towards my goal. And it was just so challenging and so energetically draining um, where other businesses I could grow like that really simply and easily and it wasn't until I started to really work with spiritual principles in a higher way in a conscious way uh, that everything started to shift and the most powerful spiritual law that makes the biggest impact on my life in my relationships with my finances with my business with my health with everything has been the spiritual law of faith. And again, this isn't asking you to have blind faith in something. This is asking you to have faith in the knowingness that exists within you, that part of yourself that already knows, that is so connected, that is your source or your soul or your higher self or whatever you refer to it as, the universe, God, whatever you refer to it as, speaking through you because you are this multidimensional being interconnected and you have the ability to create in this world whatever it is that you want to create. And it's almost like a rite of passage, I would say, for spiritual entrepreneurs is to really step into faith, step into knowingness, and you can't fake it. And the universe will make sure of that. You can't fake faith. Um, you can't f fake that frequency and that releasing and surrendering process. And so I just wanted to bring this to your attention today and leave you with this um, spiritual law to be working with. Ask yourself when it feels that things are not working, not working out in your favor or um, that it might not happen or that it's never going to happen or whatever the story is that you have going. I want you to recognize that story and that narrative because that is a very powerful narrative that is happening on your watch that is causing a lot of resistance in your business and I would also presume in your life and in your finances and in your relationships and other areas as well. It could be, right? So you want to look at this of where you are not able to... 
um, surrender to the process and have faith in the knowingness that you already know to be true, right? I've, I've been tested with this in, in all different areas of my life and I continue to be on a daily basis. I just looked at the clock and it was 11-11. So I love, I love the synchronicity around this message um, that needed to be shared today. Where can you soften and surrender and release in faith to the knowing that you are supported in all endeavors and everything that you do and that everything is working out for you? And as Rumi would say, life is rigged in your favor because that's a different narrative that you can be telling. And the more you start to work with it, the more you start to see it happening in your experience, the more you start to know it, the more you have experiential knowledge of working with these spiritual principles in a, a conscious way.